this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising for the second week of um, uh, January 2018 and the week begins from the 18 the 8 until the 14 I want to say um, thank you to um, all the wonderful um, people out there I'm sorry that I did not have a reading for the first week but I was um, I was so so tired um, I have done so many readings um, back to back back to back and um, it's not good to extend your gift too much so that's the reason why okay um, okay so this week is a week of uh, an emotional week but um, uh, so far because um, um, I haven't finished readings the Gemini's and you guys are the ones who comes up with this positive energy of you know um, um, money coming at you and positive whatever it is your enemies are now in the reverse form um, the conflicts and whatever that was happening the enemy is in the reverse form um, there was a sort of uh, um, energy of the enemies and um, the devil is going to also um, be in the reverse form which is the ego base or um, the people that has been um, you know um, using up your um, energies and your space okay so um, what is happening it is um, um, a situation that you need um, to take accountability and you need to stand up and tell people now to tear and no further you have the energy of the king of um, the king this king is the energy vibration of um, um, a Pisces a cancer or a, a scorpion okay and this king somehow this king is going to be um, prominent in the week okay very very prominent in the week um, he's going to be there to be um, very supporting okay so for the people who are in relationships with and um, would have a, a fish um, or with a, a cancer um, a Pisces or a scorpion um, he's going to be there to protect you um, for a lot of you if you're looking for work um, this is going to be happening in this week also um, good messages is about to come through so let's look at your week and let's see what is happening let's see what is happening in, in this week um, we have the five of ones we have the energy of the five of ones and we have um, the six of Pentacles which is good and we have the three of Pentacles which is good and the Empress so this is a wonderful week for you um, Capricorns this is your birthday week also for the people who were born in January and born between 8 and 14 so you can um, it is obviously that here you are seeing um, just um, very wonderful positive supporting energies that are happening and this is going to be good okay so um, let's go forward and see what is happening for you guys whatever a conflict was it is now in reverse it is now ended okay whatever a conflict was over whatever a situation was over it is now ended okay the energy of this conflicts whatever that has transpired in your life or around you um, this energy is now as now come to an end and the energy is the five of ones on Monday on Tuesday you have a good energy on Tuesday balance um, financial money is coming in to you there is a balance and financial help and money is coming into you and this is very 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 um, good okay this is um, extremely good as we move forward we have the energy of the three of Pentacles on a Wednesday this is the crowning of your week which is wonderful um, this is good because this is saying that um, money will become available to you and and there will be um, money that you have no need to worry because 
on um, Thursday also you have uh, the energy of the Empress okay so for you Capricorns there is definitely something that is happening the universal angels and guides are protecting you in this week because obviously um, there is um, um, Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday are very very good days for you because it's all about the six of Pentacles it's all about your materialistic whatever help you need in the materialistic world it's all here for you and it's going to be um, a very very positive okay so um, this is what has been happening and what has been transpiring as we move forward on Friday on Friday um, it is the end of an Iraqi um, with the, the people who have been um, harassing you as the end of the situ situation with the people who have been harassing you this is the end of your enemies and that sort of a thing um, people who were um, behind the rocks and so that was uh, it is the end of them no more to reign over you okay then we have the energy of um, the lovers on um, Saturday this is a very good this is wonderful this is positive the energy of the lovers is coming up because uh, um, on Saturday um, th this energy what is happening is that financial um, stability is as if uh, um, you guys or um, or someone is going to this king of um, this king whether a Pisces a cancer or a um, can Pisces cancer or um, a scorpion is going to help you and balance out your financial situation and this is good okay so um, whatever the situation is I'm sorry I have to drink because my throat whatever the situation is whatever that has transpired it's going to be it's a <laughs> sour <laughs> it's going to be okay we have also the energy of the devil in reverse with your financial situation so whatever that was happening and the transformation of uh, um, you working hard on something and whatever lower energies the energies people um, situation that was blocking you um, has now lifted and you're going to see a positive um, situation moving forward um, towards your financial situation okay so a new beginning a new start a lot of people are going to have a lot of invitation coming in um, if you're looking for work it's going to be happening in this week okay so let's see um, what is the connection that is going on with um, the conflicts and these people in this week uh, yeah there's the heartbreaks uh, that you had with conflicts about your financial situation and whatever that has transpired it's going to come to an end okay you have the energy of uh, the three of swords so whatever conflicts that you had with people let's say that um um, someone overcharge you something or someone uses your information and get credits or whatsoever or someone uses your information to take old um, phones and that sort of a thing whatever that conflict is is now going to finally come to an end because the three of swords is in reverse as we move forward we have the six of Pentacles and the three of Pentacles six of Pentacles and the three of Pentacles is um, exactly the same energy whatever that has transpired the lies and because uh, um, obviously there was uh, um, false information um, that seems real was given to people and people were running with it and it was not true okay so um, that came out also and as we look at the energy with the Empress the Eye Princess comes out and it's as if the Universal Angels or Guide is saying to you we are govern you and we are protecting your um, your your um, materialistic needs and it will um, be a given um, there it's as if she's saying you know just um, ask for help and we are going to make sure that whatever the financial um, assistance that you need that it is going to come to you okay as we look at um, the energy with your um, your your um, enemies and the people who have tried to 
you know this man could you and your relationship because it's right beside the enemies beside the energy of the lovers again you have the energy of the moon this is 9 and 18 whatever this is number 9 and number 18 you have the energy of the moon again so you have two energy of the moon and these two moon are your enemies these two moon are your enemies so be aware of this these two moons are your enemies so um, be aware of this as we move forward we're seeing the energy of the lovers and the devil and <laughs> I just got this for the Taurus the lovers and the devil okay all right so the seven of Pentacles so whatever this is that is going on um, with your relationship um, you need to work and it's as if there is a sort of an energy it's as if there is a third party coming in a relationship or it is that you two are um, going against each other and just a simple thing you're quarreling about and that sort of a thing it's because um, people are sending negative energy between you and your partner um, this happens a lot without people even knowing and sometimes people say I just find it weird I never argue with him or you know we always get over it and now it is happening every time it's because people is disliking you and do not want to um, you and your partner to have a, a positive um, um, it, 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 they want conflict instead of peace and this is what is happening so this is the energy so you need to just work hard because the energy of the Empress with the seven of Pentacles is saying you know don't give up on your relationship relationship work or on your relationship because it's going to be a very very um, it's, it's it, it is beneficial okay it is beneficial so whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring just work hard on your relationship because it's going to be a very very beneficial okay so um, for some of you you're going to have the energy um, in your relationship this could be a third person person who is in your relationship and for the men look out for someone who is the knight of sword the energy of the knight of sword so look out um, for this person because um, some of you are going to be um, help through um, door um, with the um, energy of the king so someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion is going to come in and help you but this person is going to be coming at you with um, extremely um, um, dual situation because it's like a clearing up because you have twice the energy of the moon so be careful watch out especially on Friday um, be careful watch out for your enemies okay these are people who carry low energy vibration and have no love only hate and jealousy for you these are the people you need to watch out on them on Friday because something has finally ended on Monday so whoever was lying who, whatever people were doing and lying and that sort of a thing it has finally ended on Monday and now um, you are seeing that a situation now that your enemies uh, um, some of them were down but it's as if it's an uprising for another another set okay so um, be aware and they're coming and towards you and and um, the leap that and what what you can do from now is you know we're going to do this and we're going to ask the universal angels and guide to protect all the Capricorns out there especially the Capricorns who are in relationship and um, against people who are coming at them um, in a powerful way you just you know open up the energy and you know close your eyes and understand that this is going to happen whatever that is coming at you is going to be returned to that person because you're going to use your power um, and this is it because we have psychics power so um, you're gonna call upon your angels and guides and said whatever that they are about to do on Friday Friday the coming um, Friday is going to be the 12 uh, 
um, 8 9 10 11 12 Friday the 12 whatever people or in this week whatever people are about to send to me um, return it with um, pure love and light and it's as if the sea has parted <laughs> and um, I never knew that this was possible and and then you know after learning um, the, the things that we forget in our lives and the things that we sit and worry about and the more you worry about something because if you're going to think oh my god she said that no you have to change it around oh I know someone is about or people are about or my enemies are about to come out of the woodwork so I'm going to protect myself and this is how I'm going to protect myself I'm calling up on my guys and angels from now to place a shield over my relationship and my partnerships and um, asking for divine intervention to support my relationship and my partnership and to keep all lower energy and negative energies um, from around me and this is going to be, you know then they you ask for it so whenever it's coming it's going to have a boomerang effect because it's going to go back to the person so whoever sends it whether it's that person because what is happening now is that a lot of people are going to these people who works with lower energies and paying them so they are constantly their slave you know um, and this is what I need to understand uh, um, let people understand if uh, you go to someone who works with lower energy vibration that means if you go to um, you pay someone to do someone else negative energy or to send someone else negative energy this is who you are you have gone to the devil and the devil is holding you in um, Tinder you will never ever be released from this because you'll be always paying him um, to keep um, people and even when once you start to go to people to let them use lower energies to work on other people and send this energy to other people um, you are bounded to this situation and you will come back in lifetime and lifetime doing the same thing because you're bounded to this situation and trust me you don't need to go to um, this person okay um, you don't need to go to this person to affect anyone okay because uh, um, what you do is that you're attracting um, lower energies to yourself okay and you create a lot of karmas so ladies and gentlemen I am going to see what is the angel card for the week um, I've, I've chained up my reading totally because I want to um, do more information that is coming out I see it's the green so it's gonna be all about financial it's healing the financial and it's the earth element and you are the earth signs happy birthday and yeah for the people who have already received their birthday and the people who are already um, at their birthday okay so what it says I'm I, I gratefully accept the abundancy the hurt restored on me isn't this wonderful so you're going to say I gratefully accept the abundancy the hurt as bestowed on me so you are the earth element and yeah this is what I'm saying the last time my we my readings are just so on point it's as if the angels and the guide come out to Oops, look at this um so um you are an earth element and you're the last of the earth element that I'm doing the readings for and it is your birthday month <laughs> and, and, and the week and this came out and this is wonderful so I um, I gratefully accept the abundancy the her restored on me now and this is positive this is wonderful I gratefully accept the abundancy the hurt bestowed on me now this is a wonderful and a positive energy to end your week so obviously there is going to be financial situation because six plus three is nine so a lot of you are going to be um, receiving financial assistance whatever the conflicts was and the heartbreak and that sort of a thing it's going to be in the reverse form I want to say um, namaste until next week please like share these videos and um, I speak to you next week Thank you.